Hello, I'm Ann Sherman. Uh, I'm live from Middle Creek Wildlife Management Area in our visitor center. I work for the Pennsylvania Game Commission and we're having wildlife story time. Uh, the title of this book is Fawn at Woodland Way. It's written by Kathleen Widener Zolfeld and illustrated by Joel Snyder. Uh, so it's talking about white-tailed deer. That's the type of deer that we have in Pennsylvania. And we're concerned about habitat for deer. So while you're hearing this book, listen for the types of foods that they eat, uh, if there's water available, what they do to shelter, and if they have enough space. So listen as I read. Early on a summer morning, a flock of chickadees sings in the oak tree behind the red house on Woodland Way. One little bird flies down to the lilac bush beneath the kitchen window, but just as he lands, the branch begins swaying. A baby deer is tugging hard at one of the lilac leaves. The bird loses his footing and flutters away. The deer pulls harder. Finally, the leaf comes off and she holds it in her mouth as if she does not what, know what to do next. She is a little fawn, still wearing her white spots and too young to be wandering around on her own. Fawn hears an unfamiliar sound at the window above and cocks one ear back listening. She lifts her big brown eyes toward the window and studies it for a few seconds. Then she lowers her head and with part of the first leaf still in her mouth, she begins pulling at another. Suddenly, she hears a loud snort from the edge of the woods. Just behind the yard, she looks toward the sound. A big deer appears out of the shadow of the trees and Vaughn freezes in place. It is her mother following the scent trail to her restless baby who has strayed from her side. Vaughn knows the snort is a signal that danger might be near and she must stay very still. Mother walks across the misty grass toward Vaughn, her ears turning in all directions, listening for the slightest sound of danger. As she is about to lead Vaughn away, Mother notices the lilac bush. She stops for a moment and nips off a stem and a few leaves for herself. Then the back door creaks and a small gray cat slips out. Mother bounds off into the woods. Her white tail stands straight up in alarm, a beacon for Fawn to follow. They take cover in the dim and dappled light of the woods, away from the unknown dangers of the house. As the summer sun rises a little higher in the sky, Mother and Fawn make their daily trip to a secluded pond nearby. On their way, Mother pauses to peer into the backyard, but she will not let Fawn leave the shadow of the woods. She knows Fawn would be easily seen in the bright light of day. The tasty lilac bush will have to wait. When they reach the pond, Mother wades in up to her belly. She takes a long drink of water and munches on the water lilies. Fawn, still a little shy of the water, wages gingerly and sips. As soon as she's had her drink, she steps away onto the bank and nibbles on the weeds and the long grasses. In a stand of maple trees, a flock of crows soon begins making a nervous ruckus. Mother sniffs the air and listens. She moves close to Fawn. Then she lifts her dainty forefoot and stomps the ground nervously. Fawn stomps her foot just the way her mother has done, telling her she understands the signal. It is time to watch for danger. The deep grass rustles near Fawn. The white tip tail or red fox flashes above the grass. Mother spots the movement. She raises her own white tail in alarm and bounds away. The fox looks up, distracted from stalking a little vole. Bravely following mother's lead, fawn leaps over every boulder and fallen tree in their path. The fox watches fawn, but she is much too fast for him. 
When mother and fawn are a short distance from the fox, mother stops and listens again. All is well. Panting in the midday heat, they take a well-worn path to the top of a wooded hill. In the cool shade of the bushes there, they rest and hide until early evening. As the sun begins to go down, mother and fawn rise and stretch. They follow their own tracks back to the yard where the lilac bush grows. Mother hesitates at the edge of the woods, her ears swing back and forth, alert. Finally, she leads Fawn into the open yard and toward the lilac bush, but before they can get close, she is startled by voices and laughter. She bolts away, her white tail flashing, her Fawn close behind. Together, they run deep into the night woods to browse on leaves and twigs far from human eyes. But next morning, as soon as the sun comes up, mother and fawn step cautiously out of the woods again and into the backyard of the red house on Woodland Way. The chickadees are singing their morning song and the dew shines on the tender lilac leaves. Mother and fawn stride silently through the misty grass. Thank you.